This is a transformative time in terms of mental health in the United States. Over the past 30 to 40 years, we have developed sophisticated behavioral and medication treatments for psychiatry illnesses. But there still is a large group of patients who need a more specialized, a more definitive treatment for their mental illness. Here at Yale New Haven Hospital, we're really pushing to deliver those definitive treatments to help those patients who haven't responded to the usual or routine treatments for mental illness. I've been in treatment pretty consistently since I was in middle school. I had a combination of different styles of therapy as well as different medications and my functioning was um, pretty high, uh, but I tended to still really struggle with these feelings of just um, profound aloneness and despair. And um, about three years ago, I kind of slipped into what I would consider a very severe depression. There was no need for an individual to accept uh, uh, struggling with symptoms of depression for years on end. Uh, we are striving to improve outcomes as best we can uh, to have folks in, achieve a level of functioning that they haven't achieved in, in years. And recently, with the growth of the Yale New Haven Hospital and Yale New Haven Health System, we've had a much larger opportunity to really expand the services of Yale New Haven and bring the research from the Department of Psychiatry to the clinical care of folks that we're treating at Yale Psychiatric Hospital in ways that are exciting and, and transforming that care. Some of the innovations that we've introduced at Yale New Haven Hospital um, in, include defining what we consider to be an emerging subspecialty within the field of psychiatry which we call Interventional Psychiatry Service, or IPS. What's unique about the service is we have three different kinds of interventions. The first is the classic ECT, or electroconvulsive therapy. The second is transcranial magnetic stimulation, also called TMS. And what's particularly unique in this service is what we call KIT, or ketamine infusion therapy, which is really a state-of-the-art use of ketamine. I'm uh, receiving intravenous ketamine and the day after I ref received my first treatment, I felt like myself. But what was strange was it was like immediate. The next day I woke up and I felt I could internalize good things about myself. I could feel positive feelings. I could feel feelings in general. Ketamine was actually first developed at the, the Yale Department of Psychiatry approximately 20 years ago, and we've been studying it since then. Two and a half years ago, we became the first academic center to offer it as a clinical treatment. To see these treatments actually administered in day-to-day -day routine clinical care is extremely rewarding for us. This is what we work for, this is what we hope for, and this is what we need as a field to, to, to make a difference in the lives of patients. IPS has a robust teaching component, so one of the pleasures of my academic life now is I get to come to work and teach the future leaders in psychiatry, not just nationally, but internationally. We're developing a generation of experts in this area who consider themselves to be interventional psychiatrists. My residency experience was phenomenal. I worked really closely with the Interventional Psychiatry Service. It's a really exciting place to work uh, because you're not just working with other residents or with attendings, you're working with the clinical researchers who are on the top of their game. Uh, you're working with mentorship opportunities that help you figure out sort of where you want to go in your career. There is a lot of energy at Yale New Haven Hospital now and at the School of Medicine. Uh, there are a lot of people very passionate about what we do and there's folks bringing the passion that they have in, in, in research and understanding the basic neurobiological mechanisms of illness and bringing that to the clinic, to the inpatient units and there is a sense of teamwork here in how we are doing that that is what really is the secret uh, to, to how we're moving ahead. I'm constantly overwhelmed by the gratitude I have for this treatment. Um, 
and so thankful I live in, in an area where there's such innovation happening and resources really being dedicated to giving people who are suffering, not just lessening their suffering, but helping them get back to their lives and live full lives that are enjoyable and valuable. And um, I didn't even know this was possible.